Okay, today we're going to take a look at um, using a U substitution method for factoring. All right, again, this is pretty uh, specific to just certain problems. All right, but um, the higher up you get in math, you're going to see some weird things that you might need to factor, and if they fall into the right classification, then you might be able to use this U substitution method. All right, now what you have to do is you kind of have to look at the problem that you're giving. I've got an example here of uh, 3x plus 2 quantity squared plus 7 times the quantity 3x plus 2, and then plus a 12. All right, now hopefully um, the first thing that like glares out at you is that these two things are identical. All right, so if these two things are identical, then hopefully you're thinking, oh, I've got three terms and two things are identical here, and hopefully you're going to be able to see that you have something that kind of represents a trinomial here. You've got some quantity squared plus 7 times the same quantity, plus a constant out there. So it really is like an x squared plus a bx plus a c. That's just a basic factoring trinomials leading coefficient of 1 there. All right, so if we can get it down so that we can get rid of this 3x plus 2, so that clean it up a little bit, make it look a little neater, then we can easily see that trinomial and then hopefully easily factor from there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to let... And i got to pick another variable. I can't pick x because x is already in there. So, And it's called u substitution. We usually let u equal that. So I'm going to let u equal those two matching terms right there. So I'm going to let u equal a 3x plus 2. All right, so now what I can do is I can rewrite the problem that I was given into a much simpler form. Instead of having the 3x plus 2 right here, I can replace that with u because I just said I'm going to let u equal that. So I can have a u squared plus... The 7 coefficient would stay there. I'm going to take that 3x plus 2. I'm going to replace it with my u to clean it up, make it look a little bit nicer there, and then plus 12. All right, so now you do have a little trinomial. Instead of x's, you know, we can use any variable we want. We've got a regular trinomial here. You're going to factor this like normal. It's just a regular trinomial right now. All right, so I'm just going to put out here factor like normal. Hopefully you can do guess and check. Hopefully you can do guess and check. Um, if not, you can make the little sum and product box that they show you at the very beginning of algebra. All right, but if we're guessing and checking this, I'll have a u here, u here. Um, I need uh, things that two numbers are multiplied to 12 but add to 7. Looks like it's going to be a 4 and a 3 here, so positive 4 and a positive 3. All right, so then I've factored it now, and I didn't have to deal with this great big long complicated thing. I didn't have to deal with those 3x minus 2s. All right, however, now eventually I do. I can't leave it there. The original problem was in terms of x. This is in terms of u, so I need to um, now replace the u with what I originally let it equal so that my problem can get back in terms of x. All right, so let's put here, let's put now replace u. Okay, I'm going to replace what I let u to be in there originally. So u is 3x plus 2, so I'm going to replace it right there. I'm going to go 3x plus 2. Now the 4 is still there, so I'm going to do plus 4. I'm going to do the same thing this term. That's my u. I'm going to replace it with the 3x plus 2. So I'm going to go 3x plus 2. I replaced it there. The 3 is still there. All right, now I've got two quantities that are multiplied together here. Um, looking inside here, if I can simplify things, I can. I've got a couple constants right here. 4 plus 2 is going to give me a 6. So this will simplify down to a 3x plus 6. Looking inside this one, again, I've got a couple constants out here I can add. So that will simplify down to a 3x plus 5. All right, I now have a factored answer in terms of x. I had an x up here. It was in terms of x up there. And I have completely factored this. And I've just done it a whole lot simpler than if I would have tried to tackle this up here. Okay, so um, just an example of using a U substitution method for factoring. Um, but there again, you got to have very specific cases here. Things have to fall into lines. I did this with a trinomial. You could do it, um, and maybe if that was an x to the fourth, it's still going to be a trinomial. You could do it with difference two squares. There's just lots of different things where you can use a U substitution method to make your factoring simpler.